Good morning and welcome to Adventure Sean, where today I'm here with a different little monkey. Just over here oh, is oh. Charlotte and here we are. It's your debut on this it channel. Is, yeah. Here we go. So yeah, today we're here at Trentham Gardens at the Trentham Estate to come and experience the <laughs> monkey forest. So um, this opened in 2005 here. I've been here once on a school trip when I was a kid. I've not been here since. Of course, we're not too far away uh, from where we live, only about 20 minutes. It's a local attraction. Charlotte's never been. Oh, I'm a bit scared to be honest. <laughs> so we've come to see the monkeys, but with these monkeys, is we're sort of in with them. Wow. Uh, we're going to be walking around a path. They're going to be roaming free. They're not sort of uh, behind glass or anything like that. We're actually in the enclosure with them and they've got like a massive um, forest to sort of explore. So are you looking forward to it? Yeah, but I'm a bit scared. I'm hoping <laughs> that I see like a silverback or something. Oh, I don't think you're going to see a silverback wow. here. You, know, you won't see a silverback. They're only small little monkeys, I'm but excited. looking forward to it. Yeah, so we're going to be right in there with them. I'm uh, going to show you it's only a small little place. It's not massive, um, but we'll have a walk around the forest and go and see some monkeys here at the Monkey Forest at Trenton Estate. I believe they've got over 140 monkeys wow. that we're going to be seeing. So uh, it's just about to open. We've booked our time slot online. Let's go and see some monkeys. So as you can see, it's a busy day here at the Trentham Monkey We're Forest. Out. Yeah, it looks like it. With anyone's here, Charlotte? Yeah. Where is everybody? Yeah. It's a nice day as well. <laughs> but uh, here we go. So we just had a look at the rules. You're not allowed to touch them, so no feeding them, and <laughs> you've got to keep at least one meter distance from them as well. Social distancing from the monkeys. So here we go. As you can see, you've got this big fence all the way around the side, um, which we're going to head in through this way now, through the door just here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh. And in we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just think 140 monkeys are just going to come running towards us. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's it. And we're in with them. So yeah, this is a massive area for us to walk around. And let's uh, let's go and find some. There's 140 in here somewhere. So we've got some information just here. Info one, to be precise, as we can see down the top. And the origin. The monkeys living in the park are Barbary macaques in the wild. They inhabit the wooded mountains of Morocco and Algeria, where the winters are cold and often with heavy snowfalls. They can live in the open all year round here in the park. However, at the moment, we can't find any. So we've got to keep walking down this way and hopefully we'll find some sharks about an edge. You're not a big fan of monkeys. I'm not a massive fan. But you are a little monkey. Yeah. I'm just scared that one's just going to jump out of nowhere. What, like that one? Yeah. Oh, no, they could be up in the trees. They could be anywhere. You've got to think it's quite a big area to walk around here. So yeah. they could be anywhere. They could just come up behind you or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so we found the monkeys. There we go. Well, we found quite a few of them all in this big open area. Nice and close to this one. Oh, God. And yeah, as we can see, no barriers or anything like that. We are in with them. We are in the enclosure, as you can see, literally. They're all around here. So we've got some just over here. We've got a couple just over there in the distance. And here we go. It's chilling out. So some more info for you here. As we can see, they spend their time in social groups with nearly as many males as females. And they've also got a different area um, for each of the groups uh, that offers food, water, and high trees. And that's known as the home range. Along with that as well, they actually spend the night perched high in the trees where they are safe from predators. So there we go. It's not like a massive area to walk around here, um, but you know, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. You know, it, it, no silverbacks for you though. There's no silverbacks. <laughs> we are joking. We did know there was no silverbacks.
So this is quite a nice big wide open area up here. Don't really remember this actually from last time I came here. Uh, but obviously it was going back probably 15 years or something like that. Maybe a little bit longer than that actually since I last came here. But yeah, it's crazy really. You can just walk around and you know sit right next to them, stand next to them. Really, really weird. We've not had any uh, too close encounters yeah. though, have we? Not too bad. But yeah, it's more of a just chilled sort of place, isn't it? Yeah. Don't come expecting loads of different varieties and stuff like that. Uh, but the member of staff that we just spoke to, he kind of gave us a bit of information um, about these. So these are like a, a completely separate group aren't they, to the first ones the first that we ones saw. Um, but yeah, there's nothing like separating them. There's no like fence or anything like go, that. Don't go and see but them. But they don't socialize with each other. This is their own uh, their own group just here. But yeah, there's quite a lot. When they say there's 150, I'd say that's probably correct. You know, when you look around, there's a lot here surrounding us in this big area um, that we can see. Yeah, just all sort of chilling out here. Some running, some just sunbathing. We saw a couple just yeah. actually over at the side. Uh, just sunbathing just over there. But uh, yeah, of course, you've got them all around this corner over here as well. Oh, I like him just sat there. There he is. Zoom in on him. <laughs> there he is. Picking some flies off his skin, I think. So we're going to talk a little bit about communication now with these monkeys. And we can see these wonderful uh, drawings just here. Uh, <laughs> I like number eight just there. That's a friendly teeth chattering that one yeah. just so you know <laughs> friendly teeth chattering uh, we got what's number four down there quite like the look at that screaming there we go number four uh, number <laughs> seven up there males using baby as social med media mediator mediator i don't know mediator mediator that's it yeah <laughs> My pronunciation's awful. Uh, well, there you go, that's what's going on there. <laughs> Meditate. Quite like number two. I like the open mouth threat. There you go, the open mouth <laughs> The open mouth threat. We like them all, let's be honest, but there you go. Yeah, I think my favourite though has definitely got to be number eight just yeah, there. Yeah, that's the, the friendly, <laughs> friendly teeth chattering, as we can see, going on right there. <laughs> So we've made our way out of the main area now and just thought I'd show you this hub here just before we wrap up today's video. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you the map as well that you've got. And this shows you where the different monkeys are from. A lot here over from in Asia. Of course, you've got some from China down there, Sri Lanka, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, the Philippines. And you've got just the one species that can be found over here in Africa, um, over in Morocco. But yeah, you've got quite a lot of uh, information boards just down here. Uh, along with that as well, the hub area here is actually quite nice. I mean, this looks really different to when I came um, on a school trip all them years ago. Don't remember this area at all. Of course, all the buildings look like they're quite new. I mean, I wouldn't say they've been built the past couple of years, but maybe within the past sort of five, six years or so, these look quite uh, new compared to what I remember last time I was here. Of course, you've got toilet facilities down here. You've also got the play equipment. That is closed at the moment by the looks of it. I imagine because of social distancing, but you've also got the uh, banana cafe just over here as well. So there we go, our visit here to the Monkey Forest in Trentham has come to an end. Yeah, we've been here about an hour, so it's not like a massive place no. to walk around, um, but in terms of how big the area is for the animals, it's huge, isn't it, really? really? Big, yeah. um, nice big area, and like I say, they say it was 140 monkeys yeah. um, in there, and we did see quite a lot, actually. Obviously, some were probably hiding away, but in general, most of them are pretty close to the path, actually, or even on the path, yeah. as you've seen throughout the video. Um, but yeah, you know, if you enjoy seeing monkeys, great place to come. I'm not really a massive animal person I know you are but yeah. monkeys you know you, you see a lot of similar stuff don't you really here something different to come to it is yeah it's a nice little family attraction like I say you probably want to allow a couple of hours max yeah. to come here I think at the moment actually you can only stay for two, two hours, hours. Um, but yeah in terms of the prices I mean what did we pay online it was £8.50 £8.50 so not too bad you've got to think quite a few staff running it as well and they've got to feed all the animals so again just coming down here and giving them some support and we've got uh, quite up close and personal to some monkeys as well yeah. but there we go nice little vlog here on adventure shore and charlotte's debut Yay. on this channel of course there's going to be so much coming up here on adventure shore moving forwards and uh, yeah look forward to it but uh, there we go thank you very much for joining me for another video here on this channel and that leaves me one more thing to say get out there and have your own adventures see you all soon <laughs>